Brad, good evening. T minus 24 hours, like you said, till students come out here to camp in anticipation for the Duke Syracuse game come Saturday evening. Now, a little bit of a couple notes from Otto's Army. If you want to come out here and camp tomorrow, every person in your party has to have a valid student ticket to Saturday's game. As little as two and as many as four campers are allowed in a party, and at least one camper has to be in the party at all times, that number increases to two come nighttime. Now, if you need a tent, if you don't have one of your own, Otto's Army says you'll be able to rent one from the Bard Center. From that organization to some of the people helping to run this camp out and the facilities all, all weekend, I spoke to SU Chief Facilities Officer Pete Sala. He says that he and Otto's Army have had a good working relationship. They've been meeting about once a week. They just met on Monday to talk about all of this. Here's what he had to say earlier today. We plan to do some things with Otto's Army on Friday evening, maybe a, you know, some, some food, some pizza or something. We're gonna, we always do something with them. Great, great partners. Uh, you know, they're, they'll come out in full force, and we're really happy. So Sala taking the time to praise Otto's Army. He also says that restrooms will be open for campers to be able to use some of those dome restrooms as they camp out tomorrow night, Friday night, and into Saturday. One other thing he said, he's a little bit afraid of the snowstorm that is coming that could possibly drop 6 to 12 inches of snow on central New York, including the Syracuse area. He does say that most of the areas around the dome where people are going to be camping will be covered, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But regardless of that, students are planning to come out here tomorrow night and throughout the weekend. And regardless of the weather, they're going to be out in full force, waiting to be one of the first ones in the dome come Saturday. Reporting live outside the Carrier Dome tonight, Chile Casia Citrus TV News.